Time now for our weekly arts and culture segment. As always, we have our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, in the studio. Welcome, Yujin. Happy Friday, Tongmin. Happy Friday. What do you have for us today? Well, so Tongmin, it's been almost a month since South Korean author Han Gang won the prestigious Nobel Prize in Literature, and her historic win also put the spotlight on the translators who helped bring her works to all the readers around the world. So for this week, I explored how South Korea is nurturing the next generation of literary translators by visiting the place where these talents are trained. When Professor Yoon Son Mi heard about Han Gang's Nobel Prize win, one thought stood out. It's sparking strong curiosity among international publishers of Korean literature. This could lead to a greater demand for translators. Professor Yoon, who grew up in Argentina, is one of Korea's first literary translators and has nearly 30 years of experience. In 2012, she introduced Han Gang's The Vegetarian to Spanish-speaking readers, marking the book's first Western-language translation. For her, translation is more than just switching words to another language. You're conveying hidden meanings, intentions and symbolic nuances. You have to understand the author's purpose, the character's psychology and how readers will interpret it. It's like conducting an orchestra, balancing all these elements for a translation that's faithful. Since 2010, Professor Yoon has been nurturing future translators as an instructor at the Literature Translation Institute of Korea's Translation Academy. South Korea is unique in having a government-backed institution for training literary translators. A recent amendment to the Literature Promotion Act even proposes graduate programs in literary translation, showing a growing recognition of the need for experts to introduce Korean literature worldwide. With courses in seven languages, the academy enrolls around 150 students, 90 percent of whom are international, and covers more than just books. Students also translate webtoons and films. Since we are having to be in contact with Korean literature, we get to meet some writers, and we have an amazing library here. We can read a lot of books. So mm, I think um, I like to translate novels in a way that Mm, that brings them closer to the Spanish readers. Despite these opportunities, translating is still a challenging path. Translation grants haven't increased since I started 30 years ago, so it's tough to make this a full-time career. I tell my students to consider translation as a side job. Breaking in is also hard. The Tesan Foundation is the only place new translators can apply for work, as most publishers prefer established names. Thus, it's time to come up with some solutions. We need more platforms where translators and publishers, both local and international, can connect. Creating opportunities for new translators through these platforms or requiring the use of rookie translators for projects, even small ones, would give them practical experience to build a full-time career. A powerful translation gives literature a new dimension. With efforts like these, Korean literature could reach readers far and wide. Wow, these translators are truly the hidden heroes behind the global success of Korean literature. Right. So from Eugene, your report, it sounds like a good translation isn't just a word for word process. Hmm, right. You're definitely right, Tommy, because it's not just about being fluent or being native in a certain language, because literary translation goes beyond technical translation or technical accuracy. So, for instance, Professor Yoon, she is more comfortable in Spanish because she grew up in Argentina, but she managed to build a successful career by translating Korean literature into Spanish to all the readers around the world. And for her, a good translation feels so natural that readers don't even realize it's translated. And so this requires not just linguistic skills but a deep understanding of both cultures which is why the translation academy of korea has included uh, korean cultural studies in its regular curriculum all right and i see and the hangang's nobel prize win drawing so much attention to her books are there places where our international viewers can read her books in their own languages? Hmm, there actually is. So the National Library of Korea, which is located in Seoul's Sochogo district, it actually set up a special display of Han Gang's works uh, from October 11th, which is a day after she received the Nobel Prize in Literature. So this collection includes 14 of her major books, from early works like Your Cold Hands to internationally acclaimed titles like The Vegetarian and We Do Not Part, as you are seeing from the footage. For international visitors, the library offers 79 
online translated versions of her books in 28 different languages. The display is located in the main building's literature room, open every day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., except on the second and fourth Mondays and public holidays. But make sure to register as a user by signing up on the library's website. Our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, thanks for your report. Always a pleasure.